Like most of my friends, I first went to college when I was 18. That lasted about a year. As the cliche goes, I met a girl, packed everything into a small car and moved to Oregon. Soon we were married and started a family. And without a college education, I charmed my way into a managerial position at an assisted living facility and spent the next 12 years in the industry. At most facilities, my peers had gone to college and at gatherings, they would talk about their college experience and I knew that they would come around to me and I dreaded it. I dreaded that question. I felt inadequate. I, I had a missing checkbox. And while it provided a decent living for my family, the industry was tough. I was burnt out, exhausted. My health was deteriorating. I needed to make a change. I started thinking about going back to college. It was terrifying. I felt that the ship had sailed, but in the end, I knew that it was worth it. And I decided to make a go of it at WSU Tri-Cities. A few months later, my wife literally had to hold my hand to walk up the steps to enroll. The next thing I know, I'm wearing a Coug sweatshirt, holding the backpack. I was on my way to study environmental science. I had my preconceptions of what it was like to be old on campus, but soon realized that I fit in immediately. The classes were challenging, but in a good way. I felt comfortable going to my professors for help, and to this day have genuine friendships with them. And while earning my bachelor's, I had the opportunity to do an undergraduate research project and was asked to mentor other science majors to help them to graduate. In May 2015, I achieved what I thought was impossible. I didn't walk across the stage for myself, I did it for my family. I wanted to show them that no matter how challenging, they could change direction in their life. I wasn't done yet. I knew that if I wanted to practice science that I had to continue on. My mentor, Dr. Pratt, saw something in me, believed in me, and led me to graduate school I've kicked enough dirt on this earth to know adversity, but this was the most challenging thing I've ever done, bar none. When I walked for my master's degree, it was 100% personal. The image of being hooded toward the end at times was the only thing that kept me going. Today, at work, I get to call myself a scientist. Around that table, when the question comes up, I don't get apprehensive. I've worked hard for my university degrees. I love what I do. I feel challenged every day. In an interesting twist, now my wife is a student on campus. This university continues to change our lives. It's been so worth it. The school has challenged and validated me the whole way. I'm Jeff Schramm. I'm an environmental scientist.